Hey, what's going on everyone? appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be helping you save a lot of time with your level ups by showing you 10 different Fallout 76 items that you can use to your advantage to level up faster. This will definitely help you save a lot of time on leveling up. I wish I knew about these sooner than later because they definitely helped me save a lot of time. I'll also be giving you guys some tips and advice as well with leveling up. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated, and it helps to get more passed around the community so other people can learn how to level up faster as well. Now let's go ahead and get into all of these. The first thing I'll be showing you is the Live and Love 8 magazine. You can find these randomly around the wasteland. I will say these are more rare to get your hands on than some of the other items that I'll be showing you in this video. Just because you can't just simply craft these, you're going to have to find them. So on that note, you could possibly find someone in your game that has these that would be willing to trade these with you. Or you could post on a Fallout 76 trading forum saying you're looking for these or any of the items that I'll be showing you in this video that will help you level up faster. I'm sure there are plenty of players out there that are stocked up on things that help them level up faster and would be willing to trade. Gotta love the picture that's on this magazine. The dog looks so happy. Anyways, the next uh, thing that I wanted to show you all that'll help you with level ups is Bobblehead Leader. This will once again give you 5% bonus experience and when you use it, as you can see, it will last a whole hour. And by the way, I forgot to mention when you use a Live and Love 8 magazine, this will last for 30 minutes as you can see. So yeah, definitely handy. And these can stack together. So technically that's plus 10 experience right now if I was on a team. Um, anyways, for the next thing that I want to show you are Barry Mintats. This will give you plus five intelligence and that is the key for leveling up faster. The higher your intelligence is, the more experience you're going to get. Yes, there is a negative out of using this. As you can see, it will increase your thirst, but that plus five intelligence is what you're really looking for and helps out a lot. Which, by the way, real quick, in case you're wondering where to find the recipe to make loads of these berry mint hats, I'll go ahead and show you all that real quick. You can actually find it over in the White Spring Bunker. You can find the recipe from the Medical Modus terminal down in the White Spring Bunker. Which, by the way, in case you don't know how to access the White Spring Bunker, I have a video going over how to access the bunker and how to complete all of the quests to be able to nuke in the game. So if you are curious on how to access the White Spring Bunker to get to this uh, Modus Medical Terminal and also to be able to launch nukes in the game, feel free to check the description. I'll leave the video for that guide in there. I don't want to show all of that in this video. I'm trying to keep it straight to the point over the different items that you can use to level up. But yeah, actually, I'm not going to enter it from right here. I'm going to go over here to this entrance. This is actually a faster way to get to that terminal. Go ahead and enter it right here. Game's lagging a little bit. All right, so we're inside. Now all we have to do is go right and head down these stairs and we'll find the medical bay right here and in the medical bay you can find the medical modus terminals right over here and yeah, as you can see you can purchase the berry mintats recipe for a thousand caps from this terminal and as well as plenty of other uh, useful recipes as well that you may be looking for but i'm specifically trying to show you guys you know the good stuff to use to help level up faster you can also use regular mint hats as well to help you level up faster. As you can see, they give you plus two intelligence. But berry mint hats are more useful to use than regular mint hats because they give you plus five. The more intelligence, the more XP you're going to be getting. Anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and learn the berry mint hats recipe. And I'll show you all what all it takes to craft berry mint hats by going up to a chemistry station. And as you can see, it's going to take brain fungus, firecracker berry, mint hats, and starlight berries. The starlight berries, firecracker berries, and brain fungus, you can just find out in the wild. They're things that you can pick around. And as for mint hats, that's something that you could either buy or craft as well. Once again, this is what it takes to craft mint hats. Brain fungus, carrot flower, and fire caps. 
Alrighty, so these next two items that I'll be showing you are some mutation serums that I recommend using to get the mutations. Now you can just randomly get the mutations as well from radiation, but you can also purchase them from down here in the White Spring Bunker. You just want to head on over to the Science Wing, which is right by the Medical Bay. And in the Science Wing, we can find the Science Modus Terminals right here. And these will have the different mutations that we can uh, get to save time instead of trying to randomly get it from radiation. You can just simply purchase the mutations. Now I will say they are pretty expensive, as you can see. And not to mention, I'm not seeing these specific serums that I was wanting to show you all right now. But I can just simply hop servers and come back here. And there will be a new inventory in stock with a chance of the serums being here. Also... This terminal sells recipes too. These are extremely expensive, but this makes it so you can craft the serums whenever you want instead of having to purchase them. Who knows, you may stumble upon someone in game that could craft you the serums that you're looking for. But yeah, I recommend if you don't have the funds, just purchase the serum and just throw on the perk card that makes it so you won't lose your mutations, which in case you don't know about that perk card, it is the starch genes perk card in the luck category, as you can see. Also, I'm sure you already know, but I'll just throw the tip out there. Uh, in the charisma category, the inspirational perk card is definitely handy to use for bonus experience. As you can see, you get bonus XP while being in a team. And I just wanted to mention, be sure to use the hard bargain perk card if you do go and try to purchase these serums because that'll lower the price of them. But anyways, I'm going to hop servers until I get those mutation serums that I recommend. Alright, nice. So this time it does have so many mutation serums that'll help with bonus experience. I recommend getting the egghead mutation serum and the herbivore mutation serum. And the reason why, as you can see, if I go to my status and show my mutations, as you can see, the egghead mutation increases your intelligence by six. However, the downfall is it does lower your endurance and strength by three. But right now, we're looking for faster level ups, so I do recommend using the egghead mutation if you are trying to level up faster because you get that whopping plus six intelligence. And the reason why I recommend herbivore mutation is because it's going to double your benefits from vegetables. And I use certain vegetables to help boost my experience gain. So the vegetables that I consume to get bonus experience, like for instance one of them that I use regularly, which is cranberry relish, gives me 10% bonus XP. However, when I have the herbivore mutation, it gives me 20% bonus experience, which that boost definitely helps out with gaining levels. Now, I know cranberries aren't technically a vegetable, they're a fruit, but we still get the extra benefits when we consume them from the herbivore mutation because the mutation counts for everything that we eat that's not meat. I'll be getting more into that here in a little bit. I'll be showing how to get different recipes that'll help with bonus experience, as well as, of course, the cranberry relish recipe too. Anyways, you can go the other route and get the carnivore mutation if uh, you want, I will be showing you some meats that you can eat to boost your experience gain. The carnivore mutation basically does the same thing as the herbivore. However, you're going to get double benefits from eating meat instead of eating vegetables. Personally, I prefer herbivore over carnivore mutation because I find it easier to get these specific vegetables than these specific meats, which one of the meats that benefit with experience gain involves squirrel. And squirrels are pretty rare to find in the game comparing to like finding cranberries, unless like the foss knot event is around or something. So yeah, but in the end, it's totally up to you on which route you wanna go. Keep in mind though, when you do use the herbivore mutation, you're not gonna get any benefits from eating meat. And if you use the carnivore mutation, you're not gonna be getting the benefits from eating vegetables. So yeah, just keep that in mind. In the end, these mutations that I shared with you do help boost your experience gain. So I do recommend using them. You're just gonna have to choose between herbivore or carnivore. Definitely don't get both of the mutations or you're not gonna be benefiting from anything that you eat. Now, these next things will be recipes on foods that you can cook that will help with leveling up. Most of these will be sold from a vendor inside the White Springs Resort. So let's go ahead and head on over there. Once here, to find the specific vendor, we'll just have to head inside and go down these stairs that lead us to where the vendors are located at in here. They'll be sold from the vendor in the Le Grand Gourmet shop. 
which is located right here. This vendor bot in this place will have a few great recipes for leveling up. Keep in mind, if you don't find the recipes in its inventory, when you get to this vendor, you just simply have to hop servers and come back to this vendor until they show up in its inventory. But yeah, the ones that I recommend checking out if you're going with the herbivore route are Brain Bombs and Cranberry Relish. Anyways, as you can see here, Brain Bombs will boost your intelligence by three regularly. And if you have the herbivore mutation on, it'll boost your intelligence by a whopping six. And they're not all that difficult to create. Like for some examples, you can find plenty of Brain Fungus around the cranberry bog you can find plenty of the mothman eggs around mothman cult areas such as for one location at point pleasant next to the mothman statue honestly the hardest ingredient out of all of these to locate would be the sugar bombs but once you make the brain bombs and consume them they last for 90 minutes so yeah they last for a while not only do they give a great intelligence boost but they also give a nice action point boost too all around they are great and as for cranberry relish, regularly without the herbivore mutation, you'll get 10% bonus XP gain. And if you use the herbivore mutation, you'll have 20% bonus experience gain. And the relish is really easy to craft. All you're going to need is boiled water, cranberries, gourd, sugar, and wood. And once you consume the cranberry relish, it'll last for an hour. So brain bombs last for an hour and 30 minutes, and the relish lasts for a whole hour. So yeah, that is a major boost for a long time. Keep in mind, these can stack too. Actually, everything I've shown you can stack together. So if you use everything that I've shown you at once, that would be a major experience boost. Definitely will help you get level ups faster. The ingredients to craft the cranberry relish are really easy to locate as well. Getting boiled water is pretty self-explanatory. You just gotta collect water and then just boil it at a cooking station. And to find the cranberries, you just look around the cranberry bog and you'll find loads over time. And as for the gourd, once you do get the gourd, you can actually place the gourd in your camp. So you could have an unlimited stockpile right there at your camp ready to go. And as for sugar, you can craft that too just by simply getting Snaptail Reed. As you can see, all it takes to craft sugar is Snaptail Reed and wood. It'll also require wood to make the relish as well, but you know, that's all over the place. Once again, the ingredients are pretty easy to get to make this. But if you don't feel like getting all the ingredients to craft the cranberry relish, uh, once you do pick cranberries for the first time, you unlock a recipe for cranberry cobbler and that also gives you bonus experience gain too. Keep in mind you can't stack cranberry cobbler though with cranberry relish. Um, but yeah, the cranberry cobbler will give you 5% experience bonus gain regularly without herbivore and with herbivore you'll get a 10% bonus experience gain and this will last for 30 minutes. This is an easier alternative if you don't feel like getting all the ingredients to craft the relish. All it takes to make our cranberries and wood to make the cobbler. Alrighty, so next up here is another recipe that'll help with experience boost that we can purchase in the White Springs Resort from the vendor bot at the Le Grand Gourmet. The recipe is called Tasty Squirrel Stew. Now this is just as good as Cranberry Relish if you are going with the carnivore route. As you can see, it will give you a 20% experience boost if you have the carnivore mutation active and it'll last for an hour, just like the cranberry relish. To make it, it requires two boiled waters, one thing of salt, two squirrel bits, two tomatoes, and one wood. The hardest ingredient out of these to find would be the squirrel bits. I will mention there are quite a bit of squirrels that you can find located around the White Springs Resort. So yeah, keep an eye out around the White Springs Resort. Just take out a few here and there and then hop servers and look for them again and rinse and repeat until you got enough squirrel bits that you want. Tasty squirrel stew is great for bonus XP for your level ups. Once again, it's just like the cranberry relish. Okay, so lastly up on this list is broiled scorched beast brain. This will give you regularly, without the carnivore mutation, a boost of 3 intelligence. And if you have the carnivore mutation, it'll boost your intelligence by 6. Which, once again, the more intelligence that you have, the more experience you're going to get per kill and per event completion. So it's definitely worth it to invest in your intelligence, especially if you're trying to level up. And making broiled Scorch Beast Brain is really easy. All you got to have is Scorch Beast Brain and wood, and that's how you can make it. And how you unlock the recipe to make it, you just have to simply pick up a Scorch Beast Brain and you automatically unlock the recipe. Once you consume it, it'll give you the boost for 30 minutes, as you can see. 
Now, the broiled scorched beef sprain is very similar to the brain bombs. However, brain bombs last for 90 minutes, and this lasts for 30. But I will mention, this takes less ingredients to craft than brain bombs. So that's a plus. Definitely recommend eating this if you're going with the carnivore route. Brain bombs will do absolutely nothing for you if you have the carnivore mutation. However, if you're going with the herbivore mutation, obviously eat the brain bombs and not the broiled scorch beast brain because you're not going to get no benefits from the scorch beast brain. So yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully something in here is able to help you out and you learn something new from this video. Um, I will mention I have invested a lot of time into this game. So over time, I've learned new tricks of leveling up faster. So I decided to make a video sharing the tips that I've learned over time to hopefully help you all out. And hopefully some of this knowledge is able to help you save some time on your level ups. I'm out of here though, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.